Hello everybody, testing one, two, let me know if you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, holy shit, it's blue. It is. I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying on Twitter. I have blue hair now and I'm super in love with it. I was like, well, I was going to lie. I was going to lie just now. I was going to say that I went to my hairdresser and said, I want Kuroko hair. And she was like, I got you. And then, and then gave me Kuroko hair, which is not the truth. That did not happen. But I did show her pictures of Kuroko. It's like, look, I basically want like really light blue hair like this. I showed real people and then I showed anime people. And she was like, I got you, girl. And then she gave it to me and it was fantastic. She had like really light purple hair, like lavender hair. She was like, so you want the blue version of my hair? And I was like, yes. So it all uh, kind of worked out. And then I woke up this morning with this. And it hurts so bad. And I was like, I understand. It's like it's like in Full Metal Alchemist. I took blue hair into the world and I have to give something back in the form of a zit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Aw, I'm glad you all I'm glad you're all digging the hair. I'm super digging it. Um, poor Sam is colorblind and isn't sure whether or not he digs it. He was like, I think it's pretty. It looks pretty. And I was like, as long as it looks pretty to you, honey, that's fine. Like, even if you can't tell exactly what color it is, it's fine because you personally feel that it's pretty. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Equivalent exchange. Exactly. That's going to be too hot for me. I don't know why I was even attempting. I don't know why I was even going to try it. But for Saturday morning, Doger, that I can watch live. Welcome, Purple Bunnies. Excited to have you. Um, we are, just just as a, as a heads up, we are, um, I think, like, a little over 100 subscribers away from getting new emotes. So I also, I changed, so I wasn't going to have the sub alert box <laughs> up during this because, you know, I upload this, but then I was like, oh my gosh, but I could change the GIF into one where people are drinking coffee. So that's what I did. So if you sub today, there will be a little alert. It's not the final alert. We're just playing around with it and putting dumb GIFs on there now. Uh, eventually it will be a real cute one that Danny will design, but for now... For now, we're putting dumb gifts on there, and it's my pride and joy, and I love it. So, Shrek emotes, no, no Shrek emotes. There will be none. Is Sam broken after Bloodborne? Well, he didn't come to bed until I think like eight in the morning. So yeah, he's real asleep. He's like super, super asleep. <laughs> if that if that uh, tells you anything, so. Gotta love dumb gifts. You get me. You get me. Ha! 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 Ah, there it is! Thank you for your subscription, Ningzit. Ningzit. I hope you're enjoying the stream on all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you for your subscription, KVH009. I hope you're enjoying the stream on all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Did I choose a good one? Did I choose a good one? <laughs> I was like, it's got to be. I have a folder. I have one of, of my many gift folders. One of them is, uh, is called Beverly's, I think. And it's just people drinking beverages, but it's all coffee. Thank you for your subscription, Arctic Northwest. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you for your subscription, Kaido ACU. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. I heard that there we had a wedding in our free company. I was busy bluing my hair, so I didn't wind up seeing the wedding, but I saw screenshots of the wedding in the FC. I hear that it was beautiful.
I have not touched Bloodborne yet. I haven't even. Man, guys. <laughs> Sam's been real ham on Bloodborne. I was asking him last night while he was streaming. I was like, okay, so how difficult is this game in comparison to, like, Dark Souls? And he was like, way harder. I was like, Demon Souls? And he was like, I mean, Demon Souls is a whole nother level. <laughs> I was like, okay. Thank you for your subscription to Kami Koss. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for your subscription, Tiniest Buckle. The Tiniest Buckle? My goodness. I hope you are enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Um, yeah, I was talking with Sam about, uh, about Bloodborne, and he seems to think that that game would break me. Because I, I did not stick with Demon Souls at all. I started playing Demon Souls, and I just, well, you know, look, I gave up. <laughs> and, um, thank you for your subscription, ChalkVC27. Hope you are enjoying the stream and all the bloodborne talk. And thank you for your subscription, Reginald XIV, Reginald14. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the ones for evil, not good. The only reason that I knew that that was 14 is because I looked at it and went, that looks familiar, and then realized, ah, I have seen that in the Final Fantasies. I have seen that on a title screen many a time, and I have typed that out much recently. Also, thank you for all of the subs that are happening right now. I know that I enticed you with the gif, and now you're in love because it's Shaun of the Dead, but... Hi on Morphine Memes. Thank you so much for your subscription. The beginning of Bloodborne is rough, but it gets easier, I'd say, after hitting the third boss. You think so? Interesting. I feel like that's counterintuitive for a game like that to suddenly get easier. Do you feel maybe it's easier in terms of you start to understand the pacing of the game a bit better? I don't know. I don't know. I've only played the demo. I haven't touched the final game. Sour Cookie, thank you so much for your subscription. So I'm not really sure, like, whether or not... Um, I don't know. I don't know what the final game feels like mechanically. I really liked the demo, but I don't know what the final game actually feels like. So... I don't know. A lot of people were like, oh, JP is so good at this game. And I was like... I want to see him roll decks. I want to see him do a dex build, and then I want to see if he's real good at that game, because apparently he's doing a strength build, and he's using the most OP weapon in the game. And I'm like, hmm, JP, I want to see you on that dex build. I want to see... I want to... Uh, like, I feel like Bloodborne is going to wind up being a game that needs to be patched, like, again. Like, beyond the original patch. Every Souls game has a hump to get over initially. I think that's true. Dodger and Blue Hair remind me of Kuroko no Basuke. That's right. I wanted to go on Twitter and I wanted to make some sort of a, a joke about, like, my presence and whether or not people were going to notice me less now that my hair is blue which is counterintuitive because obviously people would notice you more when you have an odd colored hair but i didn't know how to i didn't know how to formulate it i wrote one up and then i deleted it and then i wrote another one up and then i like closed my my phone and i don't know i couldn't formulate the perfect kuroko tweet and it really i felt disappointed in myself <laughs> <laughs> the hair! Did I hug Sam today? Well, I was asleep. So I was mega asleep. He came to bed. I think told me that his phone was broken. And then... I don't remember very much. <laughs> I think told me that his phone was broken. I, like, sleepily plugged it into the wall. And he was like, no, it's not... That's not gonna work. And I was like, uh, And then fell asleep. And then I woke up and came down here to do Saturday Morning Duker. Thank you so much for your subscription, Chief Sea Biscuit. <gasps> like the horse. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you for your subscription, Kuhan26. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. <laughs> Just start plopping over. Because you were drunk? No, because it was 7 in the morning. 8 in the morning. And I had been asleep. Like, hardcore asleep.
Why did I decide to use a sub pop up? Um, because so Moobot, Moobot is what I've been using as my like my like little pop up that shows subs, um, and it misses them. It misses them all the time. So we tested out this guy, this Twitch alerts guy. Uh, I've liked the idea of having like a sub alert pop up. Um, and again, this isn't what the final thing is going to look like because Danny's going to make a little one that has like Sherlock and Watson being like, thanks for subscribing. And it's going to be adorable. But uh, I don't know. I've, I've always liked the idea of there being something that pops up just like really small in the corner so that if I miss it, um, somebody, you know, gets thanked somehow, even if it's by like a computer, <laughs> right? Like even if it's by like a really efficient computer, that's like, Hey, you subbed. Thanks, man. Like if I'm super zoned in and I miss it, uh, because not everybody stays until the very end to hear like the full list of subscribers. So I figure, you know what? I can do both. I can, I can take the time to figure out, um, like an, a little alert system, um, and play around with that and do whatever. And right now, I'll, we just, like, change the GIF every time. And that's fun for me. Uh, and then, you know, after the stream, I'll still read off all the new subscribers. I just I just like the idea of, of somebody being thanked right off the bat. And if I miss it, I feel really bad about that. So that's that's sort of, like, the the concept for me. Can I sub to Watson and Sherlock? I mean, Sure. Your subs go toward cat food <laughs> in, in the sense that um, any money that I get each month will partially go to cat food anyway. So <laughs> when will you stream Ori again? Man, I guys, for those of you who missed it, I straight up cried on stream on Thursday. I was like, people were like, you should play Ori because we played Pillars of Eternity and it's just a lot of reading. I was like, ah, let's swap games. So we swapped to Ori in the Blind Forest, which I, the only thing I knew about that game is that it's a platformer, right? We swapped to Ori and <laughs> immediately everybody in the comments, or not in the comment section, in the chat box was going, prepare for the feels, prepare for all the feels. And I was like, oh no. And I cried. I straight up cried. So no spoilers. I won't give no, sp and chat, no spoilers. No spoilers about what happens, but I, I sobbed. <laughs> that game is really fun, though. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful game. Parts of the Orivod was muted. Damn it, Twitch. Ah. <laughs> uh. Doesn't her hair look silverish? So like the bottom wound up being a bit more silver. So she was like, she was looking at my hair and originally I had said, you know what? We should go with purple because there's yellow in it and color theory purple pulls out the yellow and brings it to neutral. Um, thank you for your subscription, XY Vaz. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. You use the emotes for evil, not good. Um, yeah, and she was like, no, we can get it to blue. It's just that we'll have to put, like, a blue toner in it and um, add a little bit of purple into the dye that we use. So there might be some areas that look purple, but what's most likely going to happen is there will be areas that look very blue and then areas that look kind of silvery, and that's exactly what wound up happening. Thank you for your subscription, Clendy. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. So, like, the bottoms of my hair... Um, look more silvery and the top of my hair looks really blue so I bought a little bit of of the blue color that she used uh, so that I can add it into my my um, conditioner I can just put it in my hair all the time so that my hair continues to be blue for a while that's the hope have you recorded dandelion with cry hell yeah we recorded some dandelion last night cry and I were like <laughs> So excited. So excited. I have to edit up the first episode today. Almost forgot about that. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm really excited about it because everybody's been waiting for us to play it again. And we were like, okay, we're going to take like a little break and then come back to it because, you know, we were feeling so many Jiwoo feels. Um, 
And then we decided to do a straw poll and see who everybody wanted us to touch the butt of. And that was fantastic. So it's it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's funny because some people are like really invested in the order in which we do things. Like for a long time we were saying, oh, next time we should go for Baby Bunny. And like we got so many messages saying, please don't go for Baby Bunny next. You can't do Baby Bunny next. And we were like, Okay. <laughs> So, I want to see an anime bullshit game with Jesse. Jesse and I would love to play an anime bullshit game together. So, eventually, one day. Uh, what did you think of Life is Strange episode two? Um, so, I actually haven't finished it. I, uh, I got to a certain point and then I had to leave. I had to I had to go somewhere. So I was like, oh, I'll come back and finish this. And I haven't finished it yet. I mean, so far, episode two has had nothing happen in it, really. You know, like we've we've had. I mean, if you don't if you don't want to be spoiled on deets about the first Life is Strange, then I guess mute yourself. I'll put up my finger. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to be spoiled on the very the first Life is Strange. Um, yeah, so, like, first episode, a lot of shit happened. Like, so much stuff happened, and uh, they left you being kind of confused. And we're still not sure, like, what's really going on. But it's felt like episode two, episode one had, like, people getting shot and all sorts of stuff. And episode two has been, um, started off really heavy in terms of information, and then from then on has been mostly like, oh, let's prove to Chloe that we've got superpowers, right? And then dealing with like weird best friend drama with Chloe. And it's, I don't know, it hasn't, a lot hasn't really gone on, is my point. So. Weren't you and Jesse going to play that My Boyfriend is a Space Tyrant game? We've talked about doing that for like, two years because that game came out a while ago i think my ex-boyfriend the space tyrant my uh, ex-boyfriend yeah it's the first thing that comes up that's hilarious my ex-boyfriend the space tyrant a gay computer game <laughs> that's what it's called on here when did it come out steam community tell me all the deets ah they're so in love I don't know. It doesn't want to tell me. It doesn't want to tell me. It took me to the French version of the Steam community page, so sure. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for your subscription, Garisa. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. We're just talking about gams. We're talking about some gams. Trying to figure out when my ex-boyfriend Space Tyrant was created, because fuck, I don't know. But I feel like we've been talking about that game. Maybe it was... I think the game was created a while ago, but it was put on green light. I think we started noticing it when it was put on green light and now it's on actual steam, but I'm still not sure when it was like created. You learned French, didn't you? Um, if I learned French, you mean I know a couple of words. Mandrakin, thank you so much for your subscription. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. What happened to Purbot? Okay, so I'm pretty sure Purbot is all messed up because, um, uh, because of everything that happened with Twitch. Remember like a few days ago on Twitch when you tried to log in, it would be like, change your password. You cannot come in here unless you change your password. I was like, oh, oops. So I think I need to log in to Purbot is the problem. I just keep forgetting to do it because it's not until I stream that I'm like, oh yeah, Purbot has been overthrown by Moobot. <laughs> Moobot, his, his angry mom. Do you guys know if you and the others from old TGS are going to do a full play stream of Chrono Trigger for like for FF6 and Secret of Mana? I mean, Jesse and Gerard have promised on a Chrono Trigger full playthrough, uh, which makes me laugh so hard because I was like, guys, as a person who's like played Chrono Trigger like maybe 25 times, I was talking with them and I was like, what ending are we going for? 
this is really important what ending of chrono trigger are we going for or like are we going to try to get all of the endings because that means that we're going to have to do we're going to have to have like so many save files <laughs> they were like oh my god so, i mean i'm just saying like we should probably have one of the endings where we have magus on our team because he's the best so thank you for your subscription guy in the room thank you for being the guy in the room hope you're enjoying the stream yeah, I've played Chrono Trigger so many times because I love, I don't know. That was one of those games. It was the same as with Final Fantasy VII, except I look on, I look back on Chrono Trigger as being a better game than Final Fantasy VII. Even though my nostalgia feels are pretty much equal for both games, I look back on Chrono Trigger and I'm like, God, that was like such a fucking well-made game. And Final Fantasy VII, I think at the time that I played it, I played it when I was around the same age, I think, as Chrono Trigger. I'm not positive. What I do know is that I can go back and play Chrono Trigger and enjoy it just as much. And that's why I've played it so many times. And I love how much how much care was put into the game. I love how many like little Easter eggs and things are in the game that they don't necessarily expect you to find. They just put them there like because they loved the game and they were having fun with it. You know, Final Fantasy VII, I can't go back and play as easily. And I don't know if it's because the the graphic style isn't as evergreen because I feel like Chrono Trigger, <clears throat> especially now, the art style of Chrono Trigger is like something that we try to replicate now in like current games. But Final Fantasy VII, I don't know. There's something there's something about it where I just I love the story and I miss the feel of playing the game for the first time. Whereas with Chrono Trigger, I can I can go back and play that game and be like, yeah, this is fun. You know, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Chrono Trigger is held up way better than Final Fantasy VII. I agree. I totally agree. And again, I love them both. I love the characters of them both so much. I went through like weird, like tween love I wasn't even tween. It was younger than tween. I went through like weird, just, you know, super affection for those games when it was really hard to Google image search for things. And I would spend forever trying to find like weird GeoCities websites that other people who were obsessed with those games had made and be like, look at all these pictures. Oh my God. And I didn't fully understand the concept of like fan art. So I would be like, wow, there are like so many different styles of artists who are working on this game. My goodness. And then, you know, you'd see one where somebody had a dick that was literally the size of their body. And you'd be like, hmm, something's off about this. What's Chrono Trigger? Solomon Brooks, I hope you are joking. I hope you are joking right now, Solomon Brooks, because Chrono Trigger is on my top five games of all time. And it's fantastic. If you have not played it, you need to play it. You need to. It's one of those games where, oh gosh, I don't know. I recommend that game to people. I recommended that game to people when I was in college, to people who don't play games. And one of them, I plant, I planted the seed. I like spread the seeds out. Thank you for your subscription, Bagel Smith. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the stream and all the Chrono Trigger talk. Uh, I spread my seeds out, right? And I was like, somebody, somebody play Chrono Trigger so that I can live vicariously through you. And one person, my one friend, Kate, was like, I'm on it. I'll play that game. And I was like, yeah. And she got so into it. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it was so awesome. What's your favorite song from Chrono Trigger? I love the um, the song that plays. Uh, shoot, what's it called? There's a song that plays when you go to visit Ayla, like way back in time. Um, yeah, this is a time travel game, by the way. When you go to visit Ayla and you go to, like, her town, um, the music that plays there is so great. And I love that there's an area in the present day in your little square where you start the game off. There's a little area of the town that plays that exact same music. Thank you for your subscription, Sherlock Who. <gasps> I hope you're enjoying the stream in all future streams. Use the emotes for even not good. And thank you for your subscription, that one nerd with a three, because you're awesome. I hope you're enjoying the stream in all future streams. Use the emotes for evil not good. Uh, yeah, that music is so good. It's like Danny, 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 Danny. It's so fun. I used to just like rock out to that song, even though you can't like you can't really rock out to it. But I would try. I would try really hard. <laughs> 
Oh, Zeal theme is really good, too. And Frog's theme. Oh, God. All of the music so good. All the music is so good. <laughs> Gmart, I don't have the attention span to play a whole RPG. That's fair. It's a long game. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not the longest RPG by any means, but it is a long game, and there's a lot to it. Um, I don't know. I got so invested in, like, understanding everything that that was going on. And it's not like it's not like the game was trying to give you a twist, right? It's not like there were big twists all over the place. It was just um they did a really good job of of giving you lots of information so that you really loved all of the characters. I wanted all of the characters to be happy forever by the end, you know, like it was it's just a great game. It's just a great game and uh, like one of the first RPGs that I played where if you played enough times with two of the same characters, eventually they would like have moves, like like duo moves that they would learn and be like, we're best friends now, so let's do all of these fights. And so I loved, I would always put Magus and Frog on my team. <laughs> Magus and Glenn. I think his name was Glenn. That was his real name, right? Spoilers. Spoilers for Corona Trigger. Frog, Glenn... Uh, oh, thank you for your subscription, Jami J. I'm just looking up. I'm just looking up some deep Chrono Trigger lore. Hold on. <laughs> yes, his name was Glenn. Oh my god, I still got it. Um, yeah. So I would always put Glenn and Megas on my team, and then they would like learn team moves, and I'd be like, "See, you're getting along because they hate each other in the story." <laughs> oh goodness. Thank you for your subscription, a pygmy hippo. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. If for some reason Twitch Alerts misses you, thank you for your subscription, Jolly Richard. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. If um, if for some reason the tw the Twitch alert box misses you, let me know because I want I need to know whether or not it's getting everybody because that's one of the big pulls for me to be using like a, an alert system is that it would actually <laughs> get everybody. So I want to know what Dodger would do if she had a Chrono Trigger adventure. Okay. If I had a Chrono Trigger adventure. So in this, in this scenario, am I going after a friend like in actual Chrono Trigger? Like say Sam and I go to um, the LA swap meet, right? We go to like the LA swap meet and I'm like, I want a new dining table, but I want it to be like really old so that it has like history. And Sam's like, yeah, whatever. And we like go, right? Thank you for your subscription, Garrett Saluru. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emails for evil, not good. Thank you guys so much for all the subs. I know, I know that is for that Shaun of the Dead coffee shot, but I still appreciate it big time. Um, so say, yeah, Sam and I are going to a swap meet. Sam's like super not into it. I'm super into it. But then Sam sees a Thingu, right? He's like, whoa, that looks cool. He goes over and he looks at it. Meanwhile, I'm like really invested in some, you know, bobbly bullshit. And then I look around. And I'm like, Sam, where'd you go? And then I see a bright flash of light. Thank you for your subscription. Be Bella Sixost? <laughs> Bella Gost? Bella Sixost? Eh. I see a big flash of light. And I go, what was that? And I run over to the flash of light. And then some guy is like, I don't know. He climbed into my armoire and now he's gone. He's vanished. Do I hop into the armoire? Of course I do because adventure. So I hop into the armoire and then I'm transported back in time. Thank you for your subscription, L. Silvis, or maybe forward in time. I don't know. I like to think back in time because I think the way, the way that Chrono Trigger was laid out where... It, it transported you back in time and then like later there was an accident that transported you forward in time spoilers um i thought that was perfect because suddenly you were like we can go anywhere in time which gets pushed way to the limits in this game right there's just like we're gonna take you all over the damn place but yes so if i was like following sam there where would we go? What would be, like, the time period that we would wind up in? If we wound up in the same time period as, like, the actual Chrono Trigger game, everything would have been super flubbed up already because I would be a witch because I've got blue hair and I'm also a lady who showed up in, like, weird clothes. And so they'd probably kill me 
Sam, um, if Sam's smart, right? If Sam's smart, he will blend himself in with the troops and they'll be like, you're tall. And he'll be like, I'm here to fight for the kingdom. And they'll be like, ah, sick. And then they'll train him and then he'll be able to live the rest of his life as like a super cool soldier. Right. Um, but I would be dead. I think, I think they would kill me really fast. (laughs) I don't, I have no, I have no magical abilities yet. Right. In this game, you get magical abilities. Eventually I, I would have no magical abilities yet. Thank you for your subscription. Inzu Kakiba. Inzu Kakiba. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Doesn't Luca have blue hair? Luca has purple hair. But, like, she... She's not going there on her own, right? So, like, in Chrono Trigger, um, Marl goes. And then Chrono's like, oh, no, I gotta follow her. And then Chrono follows. Does Chrono follow with Luca right off the bat or does he go by himself? Either way, in this situation, Sam's going first, and then I'm going, and then Sam would have disappeared, because that's how the game goes. Sam would be gone, and I'd be all by myself, and I'd be like, what the heck? And then if somebody found me, I would be dead. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. I'm all by myself. If somebody found me, I would be dead. Luca, on the other hand, I don't think Luca was ever by herself. So, maybe she was. Maybe Luca was by herself at some point. Did she follow me through? God, I can't remember now. Thank you for subscription, John Pirate. Either way, I would die. I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be able to like. If I like showed up in some fucking forest with all these crazy creatures being like, yo, girl, I would be dead. That's the point. (laughs) That's the point of all of this. <laughs> What's a swap meet? A swap meet, silly. Swap meets are where you swap things for dollars or for other items. I always wonder how I would do if I were to go to Burning Man, right? What would be the thing that I would bring to try and trade upwards for food and such? Cuz at Burning Man that's how it works. Like you the bur- at at Burning Man, everybody operates on, like, a weird barter system, right? Thank you for your subscription, Sulfater. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. I have never been to Burning Man, but I've heard stories, right? So, like, what would I... What could I create to live at Burning Man? What could I make? <laughs> I was like, hello, sirs and madams. I am um, a professional manga coaster maker would you like some manga coasters? <laughs> People would be like, no. Thank you for your subscription, Rossman2000. I hope you're enjoying the stream at all future streams. You use the emotes for evil, not good. Yeah, I, I, f- I wouldn't make anything that they would find valuable, I feel. I feel personally in my heart. Because I don't know. Let's, let's be honest. I don't know how to make a hacky sack. I don't know how to do... Uh, actually, holy shit. Wait, no. Um... I do know how to make those like those bead bracelets that are like a thick bracelet with like tons of beads in them that make a pattern. I know how to do those. So I can make like one of those and try to trade up for two of something else and then try to trade up for three of something and then I'll have all my wares and it will be great. Dodger, are you doing D&D today? No, I am not. They're not doing a role play episode today as far as I know. I thought that maybe Sam was supposed to do West Marches today and I was like, oh no, because he, Lord knows he ain't waking up. So I went to JP first thing when I woke up. I was like, JP, is Sam supposed to be on West Marches today? And he was like, no. <laughs> Good. Phew. Phew. Yeah, our FC is like full, which is nuts. We have like 503 members, something like that. Man. If you have been playing Final Fantasy XIV, like I have been playing Final... Actually, I didn't log into Final Fantasy XIV at all yesterday. Um, I did the day before, though. It's so funny. People have been yelling me at me about it. And I'm like, guys, I can't like have a day where I don't go. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it's like, come on now. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, super fun. I'm almost level 40. I'm so close. And then I'll have 10 levels left. And JP's like, you can blast out those levels so fast. You can go ham on those levels. And I'm like, 
<sighs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Part of me believes it, but part of me does not believe it. <laughs> Thank you for your subscription, Sean M two nine seven. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. I think JP is like level forty eight, forty seven or forty eight. Sam is level forty four. Sam hasn't touched it in a couple of days. I didn't go on yesterday. I was gonna go on last night, but I I wasn't. I was like sort of out of it, so I just laid in bed and watched um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which is a fucking hilarious show. I was so nervous about watching that show because I thought like all of the promos that they did for that show triggered that that embarrassment squick that I have where I watch a show where somebody does embarrassing things and I'm just like, Ugh. right? So like all of the promos were doing that to me and I was like, I don't want to watch this show. I'm going to be embarrassed for her always. But the way that the show... It, is made and like the pacing of the show it like i don't know it's just so thank you for your subscription alahas i hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams use the emotes for evil not good the way that the show is made thank you for your subscription but baguette <laughs> if you're enjoying the stream and all future streams use the emotes for evil not good um what was i gonna what was i gonna say I don't know. It's just like, it's a dark comedy. I want to say first up was not expecting that. It is a very dark comedy. Um, it winds up talking about things that are like super messed up in a way, like things where when you're watching the show and you think about the sort of stuff that they're dealing with, you're like, man, like some of this is like kind of heavy, but <clears throat> they wind up somehow writing it in a way where the pacing is great. Um, everybody is on the same tone in terms of acting, which you kind of need. Everybody knows exactly what kind of a show they're in, right? <laughs> that was always a problem when I was in um, the theater department in college, is we would have shows that had a very particular tone. And some some people, and sometimes it was totally me, I will admit that, <laughs> some people wouldn't quite get what the tone was and it would take a lot of work for all of us to, to figure out what show we were in, you know? So like, I love when I see shows that are like that. Thank you for your subscription, redheaded Slytherin. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Um, Kimmy Schmidt does it really perfectly because at the end of every episode, it's really heartwarming it's heartwarming in a way where, um, I don't know, like there are, there are things that Kimmy tries to do in this like dark comedy world. And you're like, oh, Kimmy, that's not going to work. And it, you know, somehow in some strange way it does. And you just, you just feel so like warm and happy about stuff. I don't know. It's really good. It's really good. I haven't finished it yet. Um, but yeah, just a heads up. It like, it, it deals with stuff. It doesn't like deal with things directly in a way that would make you feel super uncomfortable. It's more, it's more like it's in the background where you sit there and you think about it and you're like, this is like kind of dark, <laughs> you know? Um, but it's good. Blue. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you. I am loving it. <laughs> Dang it, my takeout place is closed. Besso, no. What show or film is this? It's called Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. It is a Netflix show, so you can watch the whole thing on Netflix right now. Um, and it's great. It's super short. It's only like 14 episodes. I'm, f I'm slamming that out as a guess. Hold up. Googling with Dodger. Going to Netflix.com. Going to find out how many episodes are in Kimmy Schmidt. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, one season, right? But how many episodes, madam? Oh, there are new Mad Men episodes. Oh, God, I only have one episode left. Oh, no. That doesn't tell me. <laughs> Thirteen episodes. That makes more sense. 
It's like an anime. It's like a short anime. <laughs> if you're me, that's how you're going to think of it. Ah, a short anime. I can do that. Thank you for your subscription. I think I blew myself. I blew myself. You blew yourself. High five. Oh my gosh. Benji. Sam is hosting Benji. And every now and then I hear him just like, oh. <laughs> Benji, be quiet. I'm trying to do a show over here. There we go. All fixed. All fixed. I love a short anime. Me too. Will there be any video games on this stream? There will be. There will be when we're done talking, which will be soon. It will probably be soon. I did get a late start today. So. Where do you go for anime? I'm new and need advice. I go, I use Crunchyroll a lot. Crunchyroll.com. Um, every now and then I tweet out, guest passes for Crunchyroll, so keep an eye on that if you want a guest pass. They're like 30-day free premium membership thingies, so you can watch whatever you want on there. Uh, yeah. I use Crunchyroll a lot, but sometimes, like, Hulu has ones that Crunchyroll doesn't have if you're in North America, I think, is the only place that you can use Hulu, but if you are then Hulu has some, uh, Amazon has some, not Amazon, Netflix, is what I meant to say. Amazon does too, actually, because Amazon Prime. Thank you for your subscription, Dartic. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. So there are lots of places to find anime. I think more the question is, like, how do you find an anime that you're going to like, which sometimes just takes some research. Like, normally you can, you can Google things like, if there's a show that you really like and you want a show that's sort of similar, like, man, I really loved Psychopaths. Where can I find an anime that's similar to Psychopaths? Google is a magical place where you can type in anime similar to Psychopaths and somebody's made a list. Somebody made a list. Like, um, we all watched. So Angie Viper, Happily Aaron and I like to do um, bad anime girl nights, right? Where we all get together and we drink us some rosé wine. Not anymore, because Erin's prego. Mm. So, I'm so happy for her. I'm going to be the best aunt dodger ever. I'm going to babysit all the time. Anyways, so we like to get together, you know, drink some rosé wine or sparkling apple cider. And then watch a bad anime. Um, so one of the first ones that we did was Diabolic Lovers, which, by the way, is so bad. <laughs> like, so bad. But intriguing it was intriguing in a way where i was like it started it was originally a dating sim which dating sims are like my shit so i went i wonder what the dating sim is like dating sim is way worse than the anime which shocked me i was like how does it get worse it gets worse it gets way worse um so uh we got together again and we were like man we need another one that's like as bad as diabolic lovers like how do we find that and we didn't achieve that, but we were able to type into Google anime that's like Diabolic Lovers and just get like a full on like list. A list, by the way, that was by somebody who's just as cynical as us. <laughs> who's like, hey, you want more shows about dudes being super creepy and girls like b acting like they're okay with it? Here you go. <laughs> we were like, ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> just, mwah. Bye, Enormi. Uh, dodge a babysitting stream. Mm. Hold on. Is Erin Preggers? She is. She put up a video on her channel as a pregnancy announcement. They don't know the sex of the baby yet. But um, yeah, they're pregnant. She's in her second trimester. So Erin's pregnant and Tyranny is pregnant. And I'm so excited. I'm just like, oh, God, there are going to be so many babies around me. And I keep thinking that'll be really good because I know I know that eventually I want to be a mom, right? So I figure if there are babies around me that I can take care of, I'll get a better idea of what, like, taking care of babies is actually like. Because I never babysat. I was never a babysitter. Um, I never had younger siblings to take care of. 
I had nieces and nephews, but I was rarely around them because we we live they lived in Oregon, but we lived you know far enough away from each other that it wasn't just like, hey, do you want to come over and take care of my babies? I was like, mm. also we were like my nephew and I are the same age, <laughs> so <laughs> there's that big age gap as well. Tiri is pregnant too? Yeah, man. Yeah, they're pregnant with a little girl. They know the sex of theirs. This little girl is so cute. How to make a baby swords and stitches episode. Uh, you make adorable anime onesies, obviously. I already planned this out. Angie and I were talking about it. We were like, oh my god, we need to make all the onesies for all of our friends. Because <laughs> both Angie and I are like, no babies soon. No funky subscribed. Thank you so much for your subscription. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Strip it is basically a large baby. <laughs> I mean, I've got my cats. My cats are straight up babies. They're just like all hours of the day. Hey, are we eating right now? Or I don't know. Do you want to like pet me? <laughs> like, oh my God. Dexterity bonus, do you still want to travel a lot or has that changed? What a great question. I I want to travel with big sections of not traveling. <laughs> like, when I was younger, it was totally my dream to be on planes all the time and, like, flying all over the place and seeing all sorts of places. And I've gotten that opportunity. And sometimes I forget how lucky I am that I have that opportunity, that, like, that's basically my life now. I work for a company that flies me to different places for conventions and things. And um, and that's amazing. Like, that's so, so awesome. Uh, however, I'm, I have that coupled with a job that relies a lot on consistency. And there are definitely times of the year where I cannot be consistent at all because I have to go to these conventions as part of my job. Um, so it's not that I dislike the traveling. It's that I dislike the constant traveling getting in the way of my other job that is completely reliant on me and how consistent I can be. You know, it's not like it's not like I have this one job and they need me to fly places. And that's like part of my job and it's no pressure to be leaving. Every time I leave, there's that, there's, there is that weird pressure in the back of my mind where I'm like, okay, I have to prepare as many videos as I can before I leave. I got to make sure that I actually get them all uploaded before I go. I got to make thumbnails for all of them. I have to remember to make them live while I'm there. You know, like all of these things. And if I'm not able to do that, then I feel like this weird guilt while I'm gone. Um, so I would say I still love traveling and I want to see as much of the world as I can while I'm young, but, uh, I want, I want it to be like every now and then I get one big awesome trip. And then for the most part, the rest of the year I get to stay home and like, you know, make my videos and take care of my cats and, and be kind of a homebody. I think that that's more consistent with like who I am and what I need to be doing I guess if that makes sense will you play the full version of Yandere Simulator obviously I didn't make a video of it um I still should I did play it uh, but I didn't, I didn't put together a video of it because it's, there isn't really like a story there. I guess I'm just not sure how to formulate a video because it's a bug build, you know, it's really fun. It looks cool, but it's a bug build. So there isn't like a ton to it. Dodger, how much longer are you going to be young? Um, I figure I'm young until I have a kid. That's kind of like how I feel. Um, because like, if I'm going to have a baby, I want my life to be, you know, 
I want I want a decent amount of my life to be about being a mom. I want to like give them as much attention and love as I can and like raise them into a human being, right? Uh, so I figure as long as I am not having a baby, <laughs> I am young. That's <laughs> in my mind. That's how that works. Not saying that people who are moms or dads aren't young, but just like that's how the time span is working in my brain. Like when I have a kid, I should probably settle down and not be leaving all the time. You know, thank you for your subscription, Viola V or Viola V. I hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for even not good. <laughs> Can you adopt me? Toaster, you want to be my baby? How did it feel waking up with blue hair today? It felt awesome. I actually forgot. And then I sat up. We have, um, we have like those, uh, thank you for your subscription, The Miffer. Hope you're enjoying the stream and all future streams. Use the emotes for you not good. We have, uh, the closet doors that are like mirrors. And so I like woke up just like, and then looked in the mirror and went, oh, <laughs> it's like, yay, my hair. So happy. I love it. Will you still be doing what you're doing even with a baby? I can't really answer that, can I? I have no concept of what it's like to have a baby, like how much time I have, whether or not I will be exhausted. I I feel like this job is very much uh, sort of tailored for somebody who is staying at home, whether it's just to do this job or like to be a stay-at-home mom. If I were to be a stay-at-home mom, I feel like this job would probably be perfect for me. Um... But, like, I don't know if I could, if it would be, you know, as many videos or, I don't know. I have no idea. I would like to. I would like to continue to do this. But who knows? Because, like, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Don't ever leave us. I mean, I'm not going to do it on purpose. <laughs> you don't have to have children. I want to have children. Or adopt. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Either way, I want to be a mom eventually. What did Sam say about the hair? He didn't say anything in mod chat, so I figured I'd ask. He said that it was pretty. He was like, I can't entirely tell what color it is, but it looks pretty to me. And I was like, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough for me. What would you like to do if you could pick something to do and have all the necessary training and set up be ready by magic? Oh, so like if if like I w could wake up one day and just know how to do something and have all of the things necessary to be able to do it, I would be a blacksmith. I think I've said that before, though. <laughs> I would be a blacksmith and I would make sick armor and shit. That's that's what I would want to do. Because I'm assuming that um, setup required would also include fucking huge muscles on my arms because that's what I need. <clears throat> I've thought about getting into blacksmithing. <laughs> is there a list somewhere that I can find the anime that you recommend? No, I have, um, if you go to, I think it's humming, oops, hum, hummingbird.me slash fix bonus. Oops, not M-E-T, hummingbird.me slash dex bonus. Nope, page not found. Dex bonus dot hummingbird dot me maybe nope that doesn't work either i don't know how to get to my page 
hummingbird. Look, I'm just gonna go to hummingbird. So hummingbird.me is like a, it's like the newer version of my anime list. So if you follow somebody on there, you can see uh, all of the anime that they're currently watching, how many episodes they're in, whether or not they're liking it or disliking it. <clears throat> uh, I keep it, I keep it real up to date. View profile. Ah, hummingbird.me slash users slash dex bonus. So if you want to follow me on there. Uh, it's funny. I get so many messages from people being like, I can't believe that you've only watched this many anime. And it's not, it's not that those are the only anime I've watched. It's that those are the only ones I can remember. Because I had to sit there and be like, all right, what's all the anime that I've ever watched? I can't remember. There's no way. But I, I've made sure to keep it really up to date on what episode I'm on in different things. So like, oh, I still haven't finished. Huh. I still haven't finished your line, April. <laughs> but. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So if you wanted to go on there and see like what anime I'm watching each season, you can do that. But I've also, for a long time, I've planned on making a video that's like, here are my favorite anime in the world. Um, and that list might not be the same as a list that's like, here are the anime that I think people uh, should watch if they don't watch anime. You know, because like most of the time when I suggest an anime for somebody like TB, it's not his jam. You know, like we have very, very different tastes in anime because he wants he wants anime that is nothing like anime, which is so funny to me. He wants anime that's like so far removed from the typical tropes from like just the way that things normally work in anime. He doesn't want any of that. And he wants the story to be very serious. He wants there to be like a lot of like darkness and intrigue and and all sorts of things like that, which is not my shit, you know, so he'll he'll come to me sometimes and be like hey what's an anime i should watch and i'm like at this point i've learned I'm like i don't got any anime for you tv i got nothing i got nothing for you psychopaths he loved he loved psychopaths um but like if i were to go to him and say you know what you should watch kuroko no basuke it's about basketball everybody's hair is color-coded and they all have super basketball powers. <laughs> He'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> like, not, not even. Not even in it. Okay. Guys, let's, let's actually play a game. 